Shalom, Shalom. First thing foremost, we give all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh. By Shimi Shai, by Shim Rakadash. Double honors to the Apostle the Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. Who is in this gospel, bro? Looking at the standard of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Turn right. Let's lock you for the GPS, man. Uh, make a move today. But, um, at the stop sign, turn right onto Raytown okay. Road. Um, anyway, this side of this video is called Look Forward to Fasting. Um, it's something that, uh, you know, we coming into the time of famine, okay? And um, brothers getting their spirit and their minds mentally acclimated to deal with going without because we already spoke before about uh, it's going to be a war against the half and half knots, you know? And the way that the society is crumbling, man, I mean, you know, gas prices are allegedly going down. But that's just temporal, though. That's the quiet for the storm, you know? So uh, with that being said, man, uh, get in a habit of fasting because with fasting, it comes great benefits with fasting, okay? Beautiful benefits. It gives you more mental clarity. At the lights, turn left onto East Gregory Boulevard. And honestly, me, just my personal opinion, it gets you closer to, well, it's not even my personal opinion, it's actually scripture, man. Like when uh, the angel came to Edris and Edris wanted to know certain things, the angel told him to fast for seven days. He said, well, look, go fast for seven days and then I will tell you these tokens after you take care of what you have to take care of. So with that being said, you know, being in that spirit of fasting and afflicting your body, it's something you should really look forward to, man, because I mean, look at what Yahweh Shai had to endure to go on the cross for our sins, okay? So with that being said, man, fasting is a very beneficial thing, okay? It gives you more mental clarity, as I stated. Um, it gives you fucking a mental fortitude. It gives you, it just, it helps you to see things clear. You know, you're more sharper. You feel better in your body. You know, you, and on top of that, you know, your body is being cleansed for all the toxins. Like I believe depending on your body type and your body type, I think it takes anywhere between, from what I research, it takes anywhere between 48 and 72 hours for your immune system reset. So if your brothers out there that's dealing with infirmities and issues in the body, which we all are, especially with the stuff that's spraying in the air and the, 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 the poison and the people that are around us that took the poison, that's affecting us too. But um, you do two to three day fasts, man, you will see a lot of your symptoms disappear. You know, you'll have, just, you just feel better, you'll be in a better mood because the food that we're consuming- At the next line, spare right. Hold on one second, brother, slot it. Let me uh, move this. Yeah, but uh, the foods that we're consuming, they're full of toxins, okay? They're called Frankenstein foods. They're not foods that uh, that's good for the immune system because a lot of the foods we consume, it, consumes, uh, it has inflammation in it. And a lot of they, they suffer from high inflammation due to the fatty acids that they're eating, the fatty foods, etc. So they suffer from a lot of inflammation in the mind, you know, in the body, in the heart, in the joints. Like gout, gout comes from a lot of people that consume a lot of table salt. You know, a lot of table salt, a lot of uh, uh, processed foods, a lot of fried foods, a lot of those things is what cause you to get gout and arthritis. Like a lot of older people, you know, like my grandmother before she passed away, a lot of times her feet used to swell. I mean, she had cancer, of course, but that comes from smoking and not having a good diet. But overall, um, she suffered from a lot of gout. Her feet would swell up because she had a, what they call a high sodium diet which means it was a lot of salt in her diet. She didn't have enough fiber in her blood, so to speak, and she wasn't having bowel movements regularly, okay, which would cause inflammation in, a, in uh, what you call the gastro, the, the, the tract here, the intestines, man. Okay, so with that being said, the fast is, is really good. And it just gets you in a mindset of being closer with the most high, man. You know, like, you know, going on, you feel closer with your how about you and how about shy, all right? And it's benefits behind it, you know, and certain things you look at, you see things in a different light, you get to reflect on things that you may have not been totally upright about because we all men, we all fallible, okay? We all go off, we all have faults, you know? But that's the whole point about repenting and continue to push forward, you see? We never came off like these guys that we couldn't be, you know? We keep each other on point because the scriptures say the most high sin with the call, so to speak, you know? Because often... notice a lot of times this phone lose connection but um anyway with that being said man you know a lot of times people think that we're not reprovable we never claim that at all man okay we just go out and we teach the word and we prove and we rebuke okay
okay? Shalom, Akim, Akwath, Yimi, Hava, Shem, Yamashah, brought down to you. You brothers out there, you sincere, you sincere brothers and sisters out there, you know, laboring, as we all shall be. But yeah, man, just the concept of getting in the habit of fasting, looking forward to it, man, is to the point that Lord's will, hey, I'm going to incorporate that at least once a week in my diet or just in my daily life. Just get in the habit of fasting, you know. Uh, won't be 48 or 72 hours every week. But at least, you know, your brothers do intermittent fasts, you know. Do intermittent 12, 16, 18. They'll do a water fast, man. And I'm not telling brothers, oh, it's necessary that you do Yeah, it says that the phone, hold on. Yep, God, hey, that's beautiful. I do, yeah, on the Shabbat, that's the spirit. And that's kind of my mindset. And if the phone go off, then it's probably because it's overheating. I just got a message to say that the phone may shut down because it's overheating. It is in the sun and it is hot in this vehicle. But um, yeah, that's a good thing too. You know, if, if brothers do it on the Shabbat, me personally, I do it on the Sabbath or I start it on the Sabbath. And then however the spirit allows me to go, then, you know, I just proceed forth from there. But overall, you know, get in the spirit of doing it. You know, if you can't do a hardcore, no water, no drink, no food, then do a, a fruit fast, do a juice fast, do a water fast. Something to just kind of get your mindset in the, in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, because, hey, what Yahweh Shai do, okay? When he knew that he had a mission in hand, he fasted 40 days and 40 nights. And he says, and after he was tempted or led to the, uh, he was tempted by the devil, okay? And also casting out certain demons and impurities requires fasting. Okay, like the Yahweh Shai got on the disciples because he said, well, why couldn't we cast this demon out? And he said, well, because one thing, your unbelief. And second of all, is because you didn't, this only comes out by with prayer and fasting. So certain demons requires multiple fasting. Sometimes you may fast 24 or 72 hours, which is three days, okay? Uh, and you may still have an uh, infirmity because remember, we've been in Babylon for so long, like we have a lot of spirits that attacks us on a daily basis. You got spirits that attack our helps. You got spirits that hop on other men to attack you. Family, okay, kids, whatever. Your job, your finances, your home. Your homes can be full of poison and toxins. They can be spewing shit in your vents while you leave out of here, man. You know? So you got all types of attacks, man. Like it tells you in Ephesians 6, it says, Put on a whole armor of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that you may resist the, the wiles of the devil. Okay? And honestly, brothers, man, you know, it's just each person thing by their spirit. But once your body hits uh, ketosis mode and it start taking from your fat cells and the energy you have stored, you're gonna feel great afterwards, man. Cause you're gonna go through a hunger spell. You're gonna go through times of being lightheaded, depending on you know how toxified your body is. But overall, over a course of time, you're gonna start to feel better. You're like, well, damn, I don't need no food. Shit, you don't, you don't need no water. But of course, I mean, after a while, you want to put water in your system because water is life. But overall, just like after the Sit 24, 48 hours or 36 hours, your body enters the ketone mode, starts to withdraw energy from those fat cells and those muscles that you stored up. So a lot of overly morbidly obese people and Jacob's trouble, they're gonna be okay for a long time because they got all that shit to pull from, man. You know, but overall they're gonna suffer because they're not used to it. So those of you that's not used to fasting, yeah, it's gonna be harsh at first because you're not used to it. But when you realize that once you get past the the the, the hard mark. Okay, when your body is entering the, the stage of being deprived of anything because you're starving out those toxins, what happens your body enters the fat burning mode and it's starting to pull the energy that you have stored. And before you know it, you'll be doing shit that you're like, damn, I don't need no food. But still being circumspect because the body needs oxygen and it needs energy in order to supply itself. So even then, though you're not eating, you're getting oxygen or, or energy from your cells, you still want to kind of take it easy and not do too much because your body is burning energy at a more rapid rate since you're not consuming particular goods. Because with a fast, your body heals, okay? Your intestines heals, your, your, your immune system, it has time to digest the bad shit and get it out, you know? A lot of brothers may urinate, you may uh, uh, do a number two, a bowel movement as we call it, and some people may not, you know, actually use the bathroom if they go on a hardcore fast because they're not putting anything in there, okay? So it's, it's always good to to, to afflict your spirit and look forward to it because it feels amazing and it's a thing we should do okay uh, let me get the precept here the book of uh, Psalms 35 and 13 it says but as for me when they were sick my clothing was sackcloth I humbled my soul with fasting that's right brother and prayer returned into my own bosom and it feels great man because you really feel at one with the spirit like literally when you are at that mode when you just throw yourself at the humble seat of your how about you how shot 
you throw yourself at the mercy seat of the Lord, it feels, it, it, you really feel it, man. You feel your prayers are being more effective. You know, you feel that you're being heard. You, you know, you don't have all this brain fog up there. You just like, man, you coasted. And that's a good regimen to keep up because you don't fast just to go back into bad habits, man. You fast in order to keep off the bad habits. And it's a, it's a process of time, man. Okay, it's a process of time. You know, like the scriptures going to too much uh, honey that's being sufficient for thee. You know, you, you always want to do things at your measure. Don't overdo it if you know you can't. You know, if you know it's going to be a detriment to your spirit, don't overdo it. You know, do what you can do and call them today, man. And hey, say to the Lord, look, man, this is my sacrifice. This is what I have to offer. Either you accept it or the Lord just doesn't accept it. And, you know, you take it from there. But overall, brothers, man, it's a good time to really get into fasting. And like I said, I'm going to try to, and this is not a, a, a command or or order that I'm putting out. No, you know, I'm just taking upon myself to at least do it once a week. Because like I said, man, we're entering some very, very dark and trying times, man. Very dark and trying. And I, I we can't stress that enough. All you brothers out there that's actually paying attention to what's happening in the world, man, we can ready to be without, man. Though the Lord said, my servant shall eat, I will provide for my servants. The Lord did specifically say that. But I don't think that we ain't gonna go days without because the Lord is still gonna be trying us all the way up until the last very second of this society, man. The Lord is gonna be trying us right up until the missiles because the scriptures say he endured the same should be saved, okay? Now you may have easier walks than most people in Jacob's trouble because you endured the hell up until this point. But overall, man, we are gonna be tested because shit, our trials are gonna go to different levels, meaning that we're gonna have to deal with people. We're gonna have to deal with, with people coming to try to kill our ass, man. <laughs> you know? That's another thing too that uh, Yahweh Shai uh, mentioned that you have not resisted into blood. The Lord resisted into blood basically because he got crucified. Okay, we haven't been, well, certain brothers. I mean, if you come from a, a, a background like I did, you know, not, not to put any clout on that, that shit ain't nothing. But if you come from a rough background and you've seen a lot of shit, man, you know, you've been in situations that require blood, then you would kind of. You, you will see it for what it is, man. You're like, oh, well, you know, brothers been in the situation. But overall, brothers that have been in the war before, and that's the spirit called Lord Yahweh Shai 7144, for the water. But um, brothers that's been in the military and have been, you know, in battles, man, they would tell you that that's a very traumatizing event. Okay, a lot of men in this truth haven't dealt with that before as far as being dramatically traumatized by shit that happened to them. And we coming into them times, so to really get yourself in a mindset that you may very well go through some shit that ain't, that might not work out, you know, as far as your favor in the body, but your spirit have to overcome. All right. Uh, yeah, Shalom, uh, Yaquara Nabala. How about Shemel Shabrakta? Oh, I think you, the, um, I think your brother is the, uh, the Zebulon, the Zebulon like brother. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a cool brother, man. He's funny. Uh, but uh, 2 Corinthians 4, and I'm gonna start at verse 16, and it reads here. And it reads here, uh, give me one second, man. Let me uh, pull a call real quick. I'm actually coming up to my stop. And I'll get the preset real quick. So just bear with me one moment. Baba Kusha. But uh, just to speak, you know, like I've been speaking, um, it's good to get in the mindset of, of, of getting of fasting, man, doing what you got to do. I mean, it's either now or never, all right? You don't want to get caught out there. That's shit. The Lord said that them days come and took certain men unaware. It's like at the time of the flood, and it was scoffing, mocking, Throwing shit at Noah, you know, they was getting at him and hey, how about you? How sharp about that flood? And there was nothing they can do about it. So we don't want to ultimately get caught out there like that. Trust me, you don't want that type of clout or smoke. But uh um, second Corinthians from the brother Isaiah Snow. And it reads uh hold on. One second, man. I'm gonna pull over right now. Second Akim, real quick. And that's the spirit that this video was continuing to go because. Alright, there we go. Yeah, Satan messing with the live stream, man. But anyway, uh, Second Corinthians 4 and 16. And it reads here, it says, For our lights, matter of fact, it says, For which cause we faint not. But through our outward men perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day, right? Because you die outwardly every single day, okay? You may die from afflictions. You may die from mental things. You die from being rejected of people that cared about you. It's the, the, the 
possibilities are limitless, you know. But it says, uh, but it says, but our inner man is day, renewed day by day. And that's why a lot of men wake up and they still have the fire and the fervency to push forth, to continue to push and to extrapolate on this gospel. That's why a lot of men are continuing to battle through the afflictions and the hell they catch. Because, hey, brothers, we all go through things in here, man. You know, it ain't always me thing. We all catch hell. That's part of the truth. But, you know, my point being is the fact that men that's dying literally from, like, diseases that you're not supposed to be surviving are out there teaching the word, man. You know, and that's that inner man being renewed by, renewed day by day. It says, for our light affliction, they call this a light affliction. You know, but we bitching and moaning, hey, I'm hurt, you know. But it says, which is for, but for a moment, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So, hey, brothers, fret not, man. Yeah, it sucks because we're in the moment, but, you know, hey, we got something that's promised to us. You know, all Israel, the elect first and then the two thirds, even the ones that came against us and the brothers that left or fell out the truth i mean though the lord is going to bring the judgment to them but even when they get built up in the kingdom they're not going to be in that that hateful mindset all right all of us is going to be living in unity though it's going to be levels and hierarchy to things you know because the lord deals with order and balance but overall man us as a nation of people we ain't going to be in this hellhole too much longer man we up out of here they're talking about nuclear threats in north cal i mean shit uh new york city you know that we freaking uh let's say that Jake woman did that was that was pathetic man <laughs> if that was that was like a suicide mission like come on who deals like that all right Russia talking about going nuclear now because they feel like a NATO and America's provoking a war in Ukraine which they are by the way all right but uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 18 it says while we look not at the things which are seen okay but at the things which are not seen which are seen are temporal that's right things we see is temporal these bodies are temporal okay these vehicles and stuff like that it's temporal you know, our homes, our, our, our worldly families, those things are temporal. Your job is temporal. Nothing lasts forever, as they say. Um, it says here, temporal which are seen, but things which are not seen are eternal, okay? Like the wind, eternal. What created the wind? The trees, the sun, the moon, the different planets and galaxies. They were created by things that weren't seen. Like it tells you in Hebrews, if I'm not mistaken, it tells you that the things that are not, that things that are seen are created by things that are not seen. Okay, so that's eternal. The spiritual world gonna be eternal. The earth is gonna be forever. The scriptures say that the earth will body forever. Okay? And that's a true fact. It just this current rulership that we're going through is gonna be totally decimated soon. Yep, there you go. But uh, hey, it was a 12:44 ended, but anyway, I wanted to shut it down. Uh, come on, baby. There we go. All praises and glory and honor that's due to you. Howl by Shimi, how shy by Shimon Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, blessings and salutations to the whole elect. It was in the gospel of Father, understand of how much you have shy with that. Shalom. And yeah, brothers, you know, just get in the habit of, you know, trying to build your spirit up. We enter into some dark times, man. So with that, shalom and blah, blah, blah. Shalom.